So I just thought quickly I'd do this um, just while I was wandering around getting sorted out. Um, I sometimes feel like I can appear in front of the camera and other times I don't. And today was a day I didn't feel like I actually wanted to record anything, but I was thinking about things on the way home because um, I've come back halfway through the day. Um, I'm working now and I was working this morning. And I just thought I'd say, got a spot. Oh. Um, spontaneity, there you go. Um, sometimes this is one of those videos for, for the boys really. Um, and I've come home and I'm all sweaty and it's because I went the long way home. Um, so I, um, I'll try and cut this in. Um, I was just doing this. which was the long way home. Um, so it was a bit hotter and it was a bit, the sun had come out, wasn't expecting that. And the reason I put did the long way home um, is because, so training for the boxing thing, trying to get my fitness up this week, tomorrow, must go to some actual boxing sessions. Um, got till December, so that's cool. So trying to get my fitness up, been running, uh, been cycling, um, but then in three and a half weeks time, someone had posted on Facebook saying about the sprint triathlon. So um, I thought, why not? Um, this is something I do now and again. Sometimes I'm incredibly well planned. Other times, well, you know, I'm not. Um, so I have done this in the past with things and it's a contradiction, it's contrary. Um, I actually get really nervous about doing new things, going to new places, meeting new people, don't like it, um, would probably rather avoid it. So sometimes um, I just throw myself into doing those things and I don't know why. Um, some years ago I noticed it came up on my Facebook. Um, I used to play poker with some friends and online in the pub. And for some reason, the first time, I always fancied playing in the casino, but I was just like, I can't do that. Um, and if I did, I was gonna probably go with people I knew. Um, but I went on my own uh, back in 2008, I think it said, uh, on my Facebook feed. And I remember, and I went completely on my own and went and was really nervous and had a great time and I won the small tournament. So that was really cool. Um, and then, in a similar way to the physical stuff, first time I did the Three Peaks Challenge, I was in the pub having a few drinks, playing poker, chatting to a guy who'd just done the Three Peaks Challenge. He was like, it was awesome. So I looked it up online um, and I was like, I could do that. Um, and for those who haven't seen about the Three Peaks Challenge in the UK, you've got the tallest peak in England, which is Scarfell Pike, tallest one in Wales, which is Snowdon, and the tallest one in Scotland, which is Ben Nevis, which is miles away from where I live in the south of England. And you aim to summit all three peaks. The tracks are easy, that it's not a complicated thing. Um, it's just a bit of hard work, but within 24 hours. The, the hardest thing is the drive in between. So a week after chatting to the guy in the pub, um, I had ordered some books online and I was doing the Three Peaks Challenge on my own in a rental car. Um, anyway, that's a story for another day, but it was, <laughs> it was interesting. Um, and I, I did more or less do it. Um, then I did do it again a few years ago and didn't quite manage to finish it because my knees gave up on me. But um, I can be a bit spontaneous about certain things um, as well as not being spontaneous at all about other things. Um, so the triathlon was one of those. So. Um, I'm pushing the cycling and I am running a little bit more and I had a swim the other day. That was the only thing, I don't really swim. Furthest I've swum is probably two lengths up until Sunday uh, the other day when I managed to do about 450 meters, Woo! Um, which is good because the swim for the triathlon is 300 meters. So I just wanted to re reassure myself I could actually swim for 300 meters, which apparently I can. Um, it's only a sprint distance, so 5K run, got that in the bag hopefully and 17 kilometer cycle, shouldn't be a problem. Um, all together on the same day, find out. Um, so I'm training a bit more. Um, I'm also doing some physical training. I'm using the heavy club, which is still fantastic. Uh, and then I'll be going boxing as well. So um, as Megan will tell you, I tend to overdo this, um, possibly contribute towards the old rupturing of the Achilles tendon before. Um, but hopefully I can keep this up at least till Christmas. Um, get in a bit better shape and do the boxing having done a triathlon. So I can finish the year saying that I've 
one hopefully uh, amateur boxing bout and done a triathlon which would be great and uh, obviously a new job as well at the moment um, which is a pretty good year so anyway if my kids ever watch this um, which is sort of the thing uh, sometimes be spontaneous don't be stupid um, but sometimes just grab hold of something and just yeah I'm going to do that that'd be really cool um, and don't just think you know oh yeah that'd be really cool to do that one day because that's you know what I do as well um, I think oh yeah marathon that'd be really cool to do one day um, I'm actually less inclined towards that now because marathon's so far um, but other things things are within that may be within your capability but push you a little bit go out and do them um, it's fantastic anyway um, hope you have a good day whoever you are cheers bye